Here is my full OB app review. I am currently traveling. I'm in Colorado. So what better time to talk about Lyft and Uber because everyone takes them when traveling. I also lost my voice, as you can tell. It's been a great time here. But I heard about OB when I was taking an Uber and the driver told me about it saying, hey, you should definitely check out this app. What the app does is it shows you the price of a Lyft, Uber, and taxi at that exact moment. So the idea is you can go on the app and quickly see, okay, is it cheaper to order a Lyft, an Uber, or take a taxi? And especially at the time of this video, there is a massive shortage for Uber drivers and Lyft drivers. And as a result, there's been times where I actually took a taxi over a Lyft and Uber because the rates were super, super high. And like I've said in a lot of other videos, it's not like the drivers get paid more through surge pricing. Uber and Lyft is pocketing way more money than ever before, even though they're charging more per ride. So if you have to go somewhere, you pull up the app, you see Lyft, Uber, and taxis, you pick which one's cheapest, and you can order that ride through the app. Now, any single time I review anything, I'm always honest, there's pros and cons to anything. And as a side note, might as well say, Obi did not ask me to make this video. I'm getting no kickbacks, nothing. This is just my honest review. There is one negative thing to me about the Obi app when taking an Uber and Lyft or a taxi as a passenger. And that is that when I looked at the prices on Obi, if I was gonna order an Uber or Lyft, and then I went to that next second, the Uber or Lyft app, for whatever reason, ordering an Uber through the Uber app was always cheaper than if I order that same Uber at that same time through Obi. I don't know why, but every single time I went to use Obi, the prices were always higher than if I just ordered it on the Uber app or the Lyft app. That was a bit weird for me. So what I do actually is I will pull up the app. I'll see which one's cheaper, Uber, taxi, or Lyft. I will then go and order the Uber or Lyft through the actual Lyft and Uber app. Because being honest, for whatever reason, I don't know why, like I said, the prices are always higher on OB than on Lyft and Uber. So it is great to use OB as almost like a reference where I'll look at it and be like, okay, is a taxi gonna be the cheapest option? Should I go with Uber? Should I go with Lyft? Then I'll go to the respective apps and then order my ride.